Hi everyone, Rich Kratzer, DIY Home and Lawn Care on my estate. We're in the garage because it's very windy outside, but I wanted to test the product. I mentioned this on one of my videos. This is Roundup for Lawns. It's supposed to kill the weeds, and it's not supposed to hurt your lawn, and it also kills crabgrass. Um, this is meant for northern climate, so it's perfect for my type of lawn, which has tall and fine uh, fescuous, and it also has a little Kentucky blue. And it does say that this will work uh, on a Kentucky blue. This is not meant for southern lawns, um, so just word of advice. But I did say I wanted to test this, so that's what we're gonna do today. I read the back. Um, this is where you have, it tells you what weeds it will actually kill. It tells you the rate of application that you should be mixing and putting down on the weeds when you should be applying the uh, weed killer. Um, so to me, this is the Bible. Um, so today I can say I read the Bible. Um, the way I'm gonna go ahead and apply this is through a simple one and a half gallon sprayer. I was up to uh, my local uh, hardware store, Weavers, and um, I like these sprayers. This is about a gallon, it holds about a gallon and a half of concentrate. I use these sprayers for several different applications. I don't mix my different applications. In other words, I'm not gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then go put something else in. So what I do is I actually label. This one I use for the roses and the landscaping. It's nothing more than the oil that's in here. Um, I have one label for just Roundup. <laughs> so I don't confuse the two, because obviously if I did, there'd be a little issue. I also always mark, when you have these for a couple years, these tend to get a little discolored. I always mark where my gallon mark is with a, with a um, Sharpie. Little word of uh, advice there. But I'm gonna unbox this sprayer. Obviously I'm gonna label it. I'm gonna mix up the formula. We're gonna go down to where I have the fruit trees, where I have the espaliers. And when I go through there, I always spray like a weed and feed, and I kill 90% of the weeds. But in between the fruit trees, obviously I'm not spraying on the fruit trees, but in between them, um, I always have a bunch of weeds. And I can see it already, the grass is coming out of dormancy, and the weeds are following. So I wanna go down there and spot spray around the trees, but not on the trees, and uh, I'll come back in about a week and I'll film again and I'll, we'll, we'll actually see how this product worked. Directions. that it's like Christmas in April hey this one's really nice has a little bleeder valve on the side here did not know that once you pump it up with air if you want to actually uh, add more solution a lot of times when you unscrew these you get the air pressure coming out and you can get it on yourself some of the uh, application here it has a little bleeder valve simply pull that it lets the air pressure out. I did not know that when I purchased it. Hmm. All right. How does this go together? Maybe I shouldn't have threw the directions out. Yeah, I need a... Uh... All right, where's the directions? Well, we know this goes here. That can't be that hard. Looks like I'm missing a nut here. Oh, here it is. Duh.
Here we go. Me and Likey. I got my PPE on because I'm going to mix this up. But I never noticed this. I already labeled weed killer for lawn so I don't get these containers mixed up. But right here, it actually has little boxes you can check off. One says weed control, pesticide, other, which I guess I could have put that, or plant food. <laughs> <laughs> um, something I also do if you ever go and um, I know everybody out there whoever's bought a concentrate they always give you a measuring cup and you know especially I think with Roundup these are always on the top um, some of the fruit tree sprays have these too I always save them um, I used to throw them out because you only need one but I save them and I also mark on these measuring cups what I'm using it for. I don't ever want to cross contaminate um, using say a Roundup product with something that I would put in for my roses. So um, this is food for thought. I also marked where the one gallon mark is. I'm gonna go ahead and put my solution in, add a gallon of water, and then let's take a walk down to the orchard and actually test this out. Gloves ripping already. Four ounces. you start pumping it okay let's go for a walk so this is the s polyase if you remember I went ahead and I pruned these um, you can see the grass is coming out of dormancy it's a little breezy probably shouldn't be doing this but I really want to try it but here's what I mean in between the fruit trees I already have some weeds coming up. I got some clover coming up. There's a couple uh, dandelions starting. I don't know what this one flower is. I think it's nut sage, sedge. But let me show you. So here are the weeds. I'll get a closer view. can actually see them. Well, let's see if I can get them. To see, they're actually flowering. There's the fruit trees. You can see them. That is what I'm hoping to kill. both sides along the edge of the fruit trees um, I'm gonna come back in about three four days today is Sunday I'll come back maybe like Wednesday we're not supposed to get any uh, rain until possibly Wednesday so this will definitely be rain hardened and uh, I'll give you an update we'll see if it was worth the money and uh, see what the results were uh Oh, 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 hi. Okay. Whew. 
dozed off there. I was waiting for you guys. So it's been four days since I put the Roundup for, um, for weeds, but not supposed to hurt your lawn. And let's go ahead and take a look at the weeds that I sprayed and um, let's see how, they, how, how it came out. All right, so this is the area that we sprayed in between all the trees. And if you look here, these white flowers, which I probably sprayed them a little late because you're not supposed to have them flower out. But this is actually turning a little white. So the plant is stressed out, but I will say it's not dead. Um, this here, which I have no idea what that is. It didn't do anything to it. Um, the dandelion down here, do you see the dandelion? That is stressed out. And also some of these weeds here, you can see, I'll pull them. You can see it actually has white on it. The plant is dying. Overall though, if I had to rate this, um, I'd probably give it about a 30% success. Um, you know, I, I expect it really for being a Roundup product for this to work a lot better than what it did. Who's to say that this weed here either uh, is even on the label so but let me show you another section all right so I also did around this rose plant um, you can see a lot of this this type of weed this is dying which is nice um, but the stuff with the flowers that are already flowered to me it just looks a little stressed but it doesn't look like it's actually killing it so there's even a little clover here and I know I sprayed this whole area. I don't see any anything wrong with that that clover. So and I, I do know it says it would kill clover. So did I get the results I expected? I'm somewhat disappointed. If I would apply a different type of weed killer, would I have gotten better results? I, the one thing I did not try the Roundup for lawns, and it does say it kills crabgrass, so I like to try it on the crabgrass because I did have a section in the lawn last year. It just seems like no matter what I did, I could not get that under control. So we'll try that later in summer, but I want to thank you for uh, your patience. i like to thank you for subscribing because I know you did. Give me a thumbs up. As always, please send me a comment and hopefully you found this somewhat entertaining. So thank you again. I'll catch you on the next one.